everyone. This is so from your dashboard, if you're in table view, you could simply click on add assignment. Or if you are in your manage gradebook from this view, you can go to manage gradebook, click on the assignment tab, and then add assignment, and it will bring you to the same place. So give your assignment a title. Check which category you would like it to go in. And then make sure you assign it some points. Even if you're not sure, make sure to give it points here because if you don't, Aries is going to think that this is extra credit. So you can always go back later and edit the points and make them correct later on. Now right here where it says visible to portal, if this is checked, that means that as soon as you create this assignment right now, this assignment will show up in the parent portal. This right here where it says score visible to portal, that means once you have inputted the scores for this assignment, it will show up also in the parent portal. A lot of teachers like to uncheck these boxes until they are ready to have it show up in the parent portal. Now if you are doing standards based grades, say K through 5, and you would like this assignment to affect your grades into the standards based grades report card, you're going to have to add a standard and you do that by clicking add standard and then from here, you can trickle down and find the standards that you would like to add. Or, we have created a great resource for you, which is actually your report card, with the standards that are associated with each box. So, you could simply, if this is reading informational text, you could simply take this standard and type it into the search bar, and then that standard will show up. Reading informational text, add it, and there it is. If you are in the lower grades, kinder and first, it's a little bit more intricate. So if you choose, you have to be more specific. So for example, RF4A, and you could do the same thing like what we showed you earlier in the search bar, RF.4A, and that shows up right there. So you can add one standard, you could add more than one if that's what your assignment covers. I'll click OK. So now, if I leave it just like this, whatever my student scores on this assignment, they will get the same score in informational text and also reading on level text. Now, what if my student did really great at informational text, but not so great on this one? So I want to be able to have the ability to give different scores for these different standards, and that's really easy. What you do is click on input by standard, and I look at my test and I check, oh, I have six questions on informational text and four questions on reading on level text. And so when I enter scores, I can enter a different score in each standard so that it is more accurate. Once you are done, click on save or save and close if you want to see the assignment show up. And here's that assignment, and it shows me the standards that are being covered. And if I need to edit it, you simply click on Edit. And here you can edit anything that you have already done. And that is how you create assignments.